I'm Sylvia Carmen Cubiña, and I'm the Executive Director and Chief Curator of the BAS. We're Miami Beach's Contemporary Art Museum. We show established contemporary artists and some emerging artists as well. Uh, we have an education center, which is the largest educational facility in an art museum in Miami-Dade County, and we have four new galleries. I mean, the beauty of having a park right in front of your museum is that you get to reach out to an audience that had no intention of walking into the museum. So you have the audience of museum goers and the audience of non-museum goers. Well, I think it has a lot to do with um, Art Basel starting 15 years ago. That certainly jump-started a contemporary community, although there was a history of museums and alternative spaces here prior to that. But also Miami being a gateway to, from other countries, non-American, um, makes it a great place, a hub for, for artists and for other galleries as well. We reflect our visitors and we reflect our residents. It's a very international city and that is our program. The program is completely international and extremely diverse. So in 2016, we started a collection initiative and we did it by unveiling Miami Mountain, Ugo Rondinone's big sculpture. It's 41 feet and it's outside on Collins Park. So a lot of these works are commissioned, they're site specific. And I think that is the crux of what the Bass Museum is about. It's about producing work that would otherwise not exist. Maybe too difficult for a collector, too large for a commercial art space. Well, I think we can continue to talk about accessibility as well because, like I said, we have tourists, but then during our Basel we have very art world knowledgeable people who are well versed in the contemporary art scene. So I also think that the artists that we work with have work that can read and be understood by audiences who maybe, you know, this is their first experience at a museum, they don't know too much about contemporary art, versus those who travel the world, you know, all the time to see different contemporary art exhibitions. So I think Ugo, Pascal Martin Tayu, and Mika Rodenberg, these are just examples of artists who are accessible sort of at different levels. One of the big mandates we have in our mission is, is commissioning contemporary art. One of the amazing things about being a curator and working here at the Bass is that we um, usually work directly with the artists themselves, if not with their studio um, and their technical people. Um, to really make the exhibitions happen and that's sort of part of the process when you're working with newer work or brand new work that's specifically for the space. I oftentimes get the question of what is it that we're doing here at the Bass that other institutions are not doing and I think we should look at Miami not as one institution versus another institution but more like a tapestry. We're a very textured city and each organization, and I will include artist residencies, I'll include private collectors, we're all working to show and showcase contemporary art in a very different way and with a very different voice. So a little more horizontal, maybe a little more texture, and that's the way that the city of Miami is.